Since it was first released back in April 2017, The Handmaid's Tale has become probably one of the greatest series that ever existed in this whole entire world that is accessible to people who have their Hulu membership in check. The Handmaid's Tale is considered to be one of the most adored and highly praised series on television and streaming. Almost everyone is setting their calendar for the episode's release dates. Starting off, let's gather a bit of a backstory for those who are still deciding if they should binge watch this series. Set in the dystopian Gilead, the sprawling and frequently unsettling story of June Osborne, who is played by Elizabeth Moss, has had its fair share of numerous unexpected turns over the journey of the show's first few chapters, including The Handmaid's Tale Season 4 ending, which set in motion plans that could take the show into its endgame. When based from its original novel, Gilead is considered to be a dystopian society wherein its inhabitants are told what things are acceptable and what are not. Gilead is said to be a harsh authoritarian society which is based only on a highly literal, fundamentalist reading of the Christian Bible. We last left off in Season 4 of The Handmaid's Tale, where Jane and her followers had exacted their vengeance on Commander Waterford by beating him to death in the woods between Gilead and Canada. But while we all know, even though you live in Canada doesn't mean you're immune to Gilead's long arm. Revenge, no matter how far you are, is always served, and in this case, boy was it served in a cool plate for Commander Waterford. No. Don't Don't fight. Jumping 15 years for season 5 was quite a shock for the avid fans of the series. The season highlighted an even more comprehensive character journey for Hannah, baby Nicole and Anne Lydia, and developing a greater sense of June and her full dedication to bringing down Gilead. It was one heck of a roller coaster of a journey for June. She's basically set her live goal in stone to bring down the entire system in order to save Hannah, Janine, and give the best retribution she can ever think of on Serena. Following the storyline of the novel, Hannah remains in Gilead and begins training as an aunt with no prior knowledge of who she truly is or the people who loved her. As retaliation for June's wrongdoings against Gileadian society, June is then mind washed to believe. Her daughter is already six feet underground, allowing Hannah to grow up without questioning her previous existence. <laughs> this then implied that June still has a purpose to resist Gilead without the complications of rescuing her dear daughter, and you know how it goes when a mother is stripped away from her daughter. It means you're waving war on a person who would go through great lengths just to end you. June then suffers severe consequences for her actions, those actions of course include killing Commander Waterford in Season 5 while attempting to reclaim her identity and purpose. Serena, a widow, strives to boost her profile in Toronto as Gilead's influence spreads. Ah uh, yes, every story has to have its very own villain, and in every villain story, they'll almost always think they're the hero. Serena Joy didn't start off as one, and I doubt she still perceives herself as one at this point. She excused war atrocities and crimes against humanity because she had found a comfortable position in the new international order. She willingly assisted in the enslavement and rape of other women in order to have and care for her own baby. Her few positive deeds were driven by selfishness and undone as fast as they were done. She would willingly condemn a child to a world that would deprive them of their rights if it meant she could raise that child. Commander Lawrence collaborates with Aunt Lydia in his efforts to rebuild Gilead and climb to power. Just for everyone's recap, Commander Lawrence is neither an amoral character nor is he a villain, but it appears that something is brewing in him that makes some fans suspicious of him. On the other side of this story, June, Luke, and Moira continue their attempt to save and reconnect with Hannah while fighting Gilead from afar. Aside from that, it seems like the rumor mill is churning because there are rumors and whispers here and there that an epic fight between June and Serena is going to take place. For years, we all believed Fred Waterford was the final boss to defeat in order to gain peace and freedom in their life. But boy, was that not the case. Who knows? Maybe it was his wife all along? Fans are looking forward to smashing that like button, but no, seriously. They're looking for ultimate retribution against Serena Joy in the form of her losing her. A harsh consequence for someone who is the personification of the devil. For some fans, this could be in the way that the baby is taken from her custody if she goes to jail. Or it could be that it's placed in Rita's care, or the worst of them all, that the infant dies. Or that Serena will have to give up the baby if she's appointed as a handmaid in Gilead, despite the fact that she's pregnant. The thought that Serena loses her son is linked to the belief that Nicole becomes a symbol of Gileadian civilization. Nicole will forever be remembered as a public figure that is romanticized for her conception amid a reproductive problem, and June kidnapped her from her home. Hi there, sweetheart. Hi, Nicole. 
Nicole being the face of Gilead also fits with the assumption that Season 5 would follow the narrative of the Testaments in which Nicole was coerced into becoming a victimization tool to demonstrate how terrible the outside world is. Janine and Esther's fortunes may be the most underappreciated characters, but probably one of the most badass among them all, have faded in the background in Season 4, with both ending themselves back in the Red Center with Aunt Lydia. Although Janine and Esther didn't get along at first, with Janine's quirky personality contrasting with Esther's tough one, their bond is cemented when they realize they need each other throughout their uncertain future. Finishing off with the star of the show, no lie to bastardes corborundum, if you know anything about June, it's that she's a ticking time bomb that's just waiting to blow at the right moment. Going to the following season, June may have an advantage because she lives in freedom in Canada. Free from the wrath and wickedness that lies in Gilead, where she may work with Luke and Moira to bring down Gilead through the Refugee Aid Foundation of Canada. What makes the season even more heart-wrenching is the fact that June, Luke, Nick, Love Triangle is slowly disappearing once June stepped foot into Canada and reunited with Luke. While fans awaited their reunion, they were dismayed to learn that their time away had changed their marriage, and with Season 4 concluding with June bidding farewell to Luke and Nicole, Season 5 has the potential to solidify fan beliefs. One of the reasons The Handmaid's Tale is such a fascinating drama is because no character is blatantly good or bad. Instead, people react differently to the conditions and reasons that confront them. From each character's standpoint, they're all simply acting reasonably. As a result, some people don't believe Serena is evil, a mix of selfishness, getting misled, and at times ruthless. Then you get a perfect mix of Serena. For his past seasons, The Handmaid's Tale always found different ways to punish its characters in making its viewers wanting more, and the Emmy-winning Hulu drama shows no signs of stopping. The Handmaid's Tale is one of the most brutally grim on television, yet it's impossible not to be captivated by its unexpected narrative. The existence of the character's lead is so terrible and terrifying that you can't help but feel as if it's literally wrenching your hard drive. It's an emotional roller coaster, a narrative set in a dystopian vision of our not too distant, maybe a few hundred years away future, emphasizes the significance of providing equal access to economic freedom and other fundamental rights to all members of society. Now that we've got that taken care of, like what you saw, Moving forward, if you are looking for a sign that will lead you to Hulu, then consider this as a sign to rewatch or maybe start watching this turns and twist of a story. Here are more videos that you might like if you are still thinking about it. Make sure to stay connected and we'll see you on the next one.